Hey guys, it's Holly and I'm super excited because I have a finished object for you to do. It is this beautiful shawl that I am wearing that I'll take off in a moment and show you. It is the Changing Staircase Shawl by Tristan Molina of Dragon Horde Yarns. It is a free pattern. We'll start with that so I can talk a little bit more about it. I had so much fun knitting this pattern. It's so, so fun. So let me take it off and show you and then we'll get into all the details and stuff I did with it. Okay, one thing I should tell you before I show you is I used Shirsty Cat. Oh, let's see if the label will fold out correctly so I could show you guys. Well, let's see, Shirsty Cat Yarns. Yep, this is her sock yarn. And it was the color Purple Rain on my Raspberry Beret, which I thought was too hilarious. And I bought this yarn basically a year ago at YarnCon when I got to meet her and she was so, so nice. I want to make sure I show you the right side, guys. So this is it. Isn't this beautiful? It's got these little like sawtooth. You start down here and you alternate between stockinette and lace. You do a few rows of each and you just do that the entire pattern and it makes this beautiful airy. Look at how big this is you guys. You could totally see me through it because <laughs> it's so airy. The lace, I cannot get a hold of it you guys. <sighs> the lace work on it is just beautiful and this yarn oh my gosh let me try to fold it up a little so it's not so holy because the camera doesn't like that let me see if i can get it up close focus look at this beautiful yarn you get these deep speckles of bluey purples to light light lavenders <laughs> oh focus camera this yarn is beautiful i mr pineapple will attest to the fact that i did not take this out one single day and work on it without saying I kind of want to keep this <laughs> it's so pretty so so pretty I knit this as a prayer shawl for um somebody at our church so it's going to be going to her even though oh my gosh I love it I think it looks great on my navy top what do you guys think so pretty okay so first let's talk about the yarn by Shirsty Cat I knit the whole thing there was a hundred grams let me see how many yards were in this 464 yards this is what I have left this is a little more than what most people have left, and I'll tell you why when I start talking about the pattern. So this is what I've got left. This will go into a scrappy project. I absolutely love it. The yarn was perfect to work with. It didn't split. The fact that it was a tonal, it's such a rich tonal. Let's see if I can get it to focus on this little scrappy yarn here. Come on. I don't think it's going to. Mm, it's not going to, you guys, but it's so pretty. You would just be knitting, and all of a sudden you get this, like, dark bluey spot and then you'd be over in the lavenders it's so stunning i'm i've already told mr pineapple i'll be buying another skein of this because it goes with almost everything in my wardrobe and everything in my yarn stash so i cannot recommend shirsty cat's yarn enough absolutely love this we'll definitely be buying it again um the needles i used was the recommended needles which was a five um a us5 which is a 3.75 millimeter these are my licky likey I know I'm saying it wrong, guys. I, I don't speak whatever language that is, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish I wish I knew, but my husband bought me these for my birthday last year, the whole interchangeable set. Now, she does recommend a longer cord. I don't know how long my cord is here, but I'm a weird knitter. I actually like all my stuff, like, bunched up on my needles. Don't ask me why. I do. I don't like it stretched out far. I like it crammed together, so I always put it on the tiniest cable I can. Um... The only other thing I used was at the end, I chose to use a uh, 3.75 or a USF crochet hook to help me cast off um, or bind off. I've never done that before. I've just bind it off with the needles and I thought it would be fun. It's pretty much the same as binding off with the needles. You just use the crochet hook in your one hand. Super, super easy. So those are the tools I used. Now we'll talk about the pattern because that's the important part. It's a wonderful pattern. Super, super simple. Um, if you are a beginner knitter, I totally think you can get this. Maybe not for your first project. I think your first project should probably just be either stockinette or like um, garter stitch. But this, you see, so you'll you're knitting and you're purling. You're doing some increases that are kind of fun, and you're doing the lace. The lace, it's all over. Look at all of this lace, you guys. But it's so simple. It's like the most simple lace I've ever seen. But it gives you this stunning, stunning look. I make sure I've got it facing the right direction here. I don't. There we go. Look at how beautiful this looks with the stripes of stockinette 
and then these beautiful open lacework panels so pretty and here in texas it's hot but it's usually cool in church because they run the air conditioner so this is perfect you can wear it and just get just enough coverage so pretty the pattern like i said written perfectly it's actually kind of funny because it's broken up into a couple of sections and she's got little funny sayings after each section like okay you made it this far take a break or something like that. it's so adorable the pattern was written really really great like it's free so that's always great and easy to try now one thing i did change on the pattern and it's the only thing i changed i used the right size hook i used the yarn you know a fingering weight she has hers ending over here sorry I'm kidding in a lace panel and I didn't really like the idea of that I wanted to end in a stockinette panel so I did not do the last section um, and to be fair her last section has you do the lace and then do a few rows of stockinette to end but I just didn't want to do that I wanted a full stockinette section here at the end so that's why I have I think I have a little bit more than what you're supposed to end with I think when you end this shawl you're pretty much out of yarn but like I said, I wanted to end in stockinette, so I went ahead and did that. Um, like I said, I think it, it, an adventurous beginner could totally do this, especially with YouTube. You just get on there when you see that stitch and you're like, what in the heck is that? You just put that into YouTube and it will bring up tutorials and you can watch them. Um, one thing I will tell you you need to do with this is wet block this. This was in this bag, this teeny little bag from um, Home Fire Ridge, which I love. Ooh, can't wait to put a new project in it. Anyways, it was like, when I finished, it was like this little bundle of purple. And like, you could stretch it out, it was really pretty, but it was small. And I soaked this in some like, coolish, lukewarm temperature water for about 20 minutes, wring it out gently, and then I pinned it out. And oh my gosh, look at how huge this is. This is at least three times the size of what I had when I was knitting it and I'll tell you this uh, sawtooth border on these lace sections this tooth is almost non-existent if you don't pin it out this one will kind of point but this will go just flat and then you'll have a point and then flat so you have to take lay it out and actually pin each one of these little teeth out it's a little tedious but it was worth it and for me I kind of found a little hack and obviously most people cannot do this but I am here in Texas and it is a beautiful sunny 70 some degree day it's absolutely beautiful out I took my blocking mat outside and I laid it in the sun and I blocked and pinned all these little sawtooth and all the edges out and what was it honey like 45 minutes like 45 minutes this was completely dry and ready crazy you know and has that beautiful scent from drying outside it's so pretty but anyways that's pretty much it i i definitely think people should try this pattern if you're a knitter you should definitely do it because it's fun you do the stockinette and right when you're bored of the stockinette and you're like Ugh, i don't want to do stockinette again you get to do the lace section and that's fun but it's not so complicated that you have to like be reading each chart and each line it, it goes so quickly i started this pattern on february 6th and it is march I don't know. I finished it on March 28th is when I finished it. I don't know what today it is, but I finished it on March 28th. And so it actually, I should have had this pattern done like within a week or two. The reason why it took almost two months, I've got no idea except for my flat out laziness, you guys. That is exactly what it is. I was lazy and it made it take two months when it should have took two weeks. It's so pretty, you guys. And I love it. And it's big enough. Look at how big that is. You could wear it. I was obviously wearing it around my neck, but it would be beautiful draped around. Oh my gosh. Oh, I so want to keep this now. Oh, it's even prettier this way. And then like you could wear it to your church on. Oh my gosh. You could like put a little tie in the front. Oh my gosh. You could wear it on like Easter Sunday. Maybe she'll be allergic to wool. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding you guys. If she is allergic to wool, I will of course keep this and I will just have to make her a new one made out of cotton or something because I'm making her a shawl because I want to show her that I care. And, I love. and somebody asked me just a real quick blibbity blip in here since I said I did make this as a prayer shawl. Somebody asked, what's the difference between a prayer shawl and a regular shawl? Pretty much when you're making a prayer shawl for somebody, you're supposed to be 
praying good thoughts for them, um, sending good wishes and thoughts up to heaven for them. And like you can make prayer shawls ahead of time and just pray good thoughts for whoever does receive this. So nothing special about a prayer shawl except for you're supposed to be thinking wonderful things and praying for the person as you make it. Oh, you guys, this purple. You guys, I like, I'm going to get off of here. Go on Shirsty Cat's website and order like eight skeins of this because I need one for everything project I ever make again. Like, <laughs> so pretty. <sighs> but okay, guys, let me know if you've tried the changing staircases or if you're going to. Let me know down in the comments, you guys. Bye.